when we return to god god will not only renew us with his blood but also through the wounds he received he will give us back healing through the crown of thorns that he received he will remove the curses from our lives and make us vessels of blessing through the three nails which by which his body was hanging symbolizing that we are bound by sin by the world the flesh and satan all of them the three forces we will be delivered from these three forces the sin will have no more power over you satan will have no more power over you the world cannot influence by you for you will be covered and led by the lamb the blood of jesus will lead you and he will give you back the joy of salvation yes as we read in the book of isaiah chapter 62 verse 8 the lord christ the lord has sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength surely my children i will no longer give your grain as food for your enemies the lord your god is crying how is it that the food i gave to you your hard work is being eaten by the enemy the money that i gave you to build up your family is going to the arak shops how is it the money that i have given to you is going to the house of prostitutes how is that the money that i gave it to you the health that, that i gave it to you is thrown away to go to wrong places to wrong way of life i what i have given you you have lost the health i gave you you have lost the money i gave you you have lost even the shape i gave you you have lost the family i gave you you have lost the joy the character i gave you but i am not disappointed when you return to me once again i cry why is it that the food i gave to my children are eaten by the enemy he says and the sons of the foreigners shall not drink your new wine anymore nobody will have the power to take away the joy the courage and the spirit that i have given to you i will not allow any more god wants to restore our life he says in verse 5 as a young man Mary is a virgin so shall you will be married to me and as the bridegroom rejoices over the bride so shall your god rejoice over you your god will rejoice over you he says in the book of safania chapter 3 verse 15 your god is in your midst and you will see the destruction no more your god is in your midst now you will see the destruction no more your god is in your midst and you will see the destruction no more He says in the book of Zechariah, chapter two, verse eighteen, eight. I will be the wall of fire around you, and the glory within you. I will restore you back to life. Yes, and you will be 
a signet, a ring in my hands. I will see you like a priceless ring, ring of diamond on my finger. You will be like the ring. You will adorn me. You will bring joy to me. You will bring life to me. When I see you, I will rejoice over you. When I see you, I will celebrate. You are my joy. God likes to restore us back. God is calling each one of us to walk in these three stages of repentance, renewal and restoration. Why should my children who are called in my name die? So he says in Second Chronicle chapter 7 verse 14 My children who are called on my name when they repent for their sins and give away their sinfulness I will forgive them I will heal their wounds and I will prosper their homes and their nations. Is prosperity gone away from you? It is not the false prosperity gospel that is preached in the twin cities. That you go to God that you will have blessings after blessing. No. That is not true. Restoration comes on the third stage. When we repent for our sins. When we return back to our God. Throwing away our old way of life. And we get back into the presence of God. It is there we are restored. It is there our prosperity begins to bloom. God is calling each one of us. We can kneel down, look at the cross and call upon him. He said, call upon me and I will answer you. Call upon the Lord. Lord, give me the heart of repentance. Let me understand the power of sin. How the sin takes me away from your presence and has thrown me into that which is not true. As we read in Isaiah chapter 64 verse 8, Lord, in my sinfulness, I have become like a dried up leaf. Once I have gone away from the root, the tree, the wind takes the leaf as it desires. The moment I am gone away from you, I lose the presence of yours. I am at the mercy of the evil. The wind, it takes, it mixes with the dust and destroys it and takes it into the desert. Yes, Lord. The sin is taking me away from your presence. And makes me to fall into the hands of the enemy. Close your eyes and reflect. A priest who was going for the walk. He saw a boy carrying little tiny two birds. Two little tiny birds. And he is hitting them. The priest asked him, Son, why are you hitting them? Yes, these two birds are unlucky birds. They have come into my hands. And I want to sell and make money out of them. Nobody is buying. So I want them to cry that people may hear the sound of the bird and buy it. The priest said, Okay. You give them back to me. He said, 
it will cost you more it will cost me more if i don't buy it what will you do if nobody buys this i will take these two birds and first i will cut their feet cut their legs the birds will be crying in agony and then i will cut all their wings and then i throw them to my cats and then i will roast them in the fire while they are still having life and then only i will cut the head i will see them throwing into the fire alive and they will be crying jumping the agony in agony yes the priest heart was broken tears came from him he said please don't do that whatever you want i will give it to you do you want these two bats give the gold ring you have no son i don't have gold ring i have only watch give that watch he gave him the watch you have a nice shoe walking shoe give that to me the priest gave back but it is not sufficient for these two birds with a lot of struggle i caught these two birds you want them give you a banyan son i am a priest i came for a walk without banyan if i go what will happen people will laugh at me if you want the birds give that banyan to me the priest took away that banyan and gave it to him the boy took away all that and gave the two little birds as the priest was returning back people who are looking around they made fun of this priest but he took away everything he felt sad but when he looked at those two little birds he forgot all the humiliation he had he came to his room he put oil to the feet of those wounded birds and he untied them and kept them on his both of his palms and the birds gently gently they flew away going up and up and up and the priest with great joy celebrating the freedom those two little birds had amidst humiliation and pain his joy that i could free these birds was so stronger than the humiliation they underwent that's what jesus did for you and me